Hello, and welcome back to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. So, um, today we're going to be talking about um, the brain and how, how to study and, and what's going on in there when you're trying to learn something. Okay? So, first of all, I just want to point out that um, forgetting is good. <laughs> that might be strange if you're studying for a test, you're like, I don't want to forget a thing! Well, it turns out that um, forgetting is really important. Uh, if you've ever been overstimulated, so many lights flashing or so much sound j jarring and so many people talking at once, because um, you got too much information going into your brain. When you get overwhelmed, you might feel a little bit like this picture, where there's just so much information and you just can't get out. Well, really, all the time, there's light coming from everywhere. There's different sounds. And our brain could easily be overwhelmed all the time by the number of things. That's why we forget what color shirt that random guy over there was wearing, or what that person said to us four minutes ago. We forget it because our brain decides it's not important and so we've got this filtering system in our brain that allows it to kind of ignore that information. Um, that's not to say that that information isn't stored in the brain, okay? Because our, our brain is actually a lot like, like this picture here. You see this office. Um, it's uh, pretty messy. It's not a pretty sight. But that's kind of what our brain is like. There's just so much information being packed in that our brain kind of sticks stuff places and um, it's stored in there. As far as we know, everything we've seen or heard or smelled is stored in there somewhere, although that's a little bit uncertain to scientists at this point in time. But there's a lot stored in there, that's for sure. And sometimes we can access stuff we didn't think we remembered. That's how we know that there's more stored in there than just what we can remember. So much of what we see and hear gets stored in our brain somehow. So the question often becomes, can I retrieve those memories? There's a certain amount of how much is it stored or at what level is it stored, but then there's also at what level can I retrieve it? And that's, that's often the key thing that we care about is, can I retrieve this information? So if I learned it, it's stored, but I just can't retrieve it. That's been forgetting it. And we talked about why forgetting is important so we aren't overwhelmed. And you see this, uh, this picture here, this messy office, is like your brain because when you get information, you just kind of stick it in there and you put it somewhere where you're likely to forget about it. And once again, to protect yourself from be having too many memories cluttering up your thoughts. Um, and it's only when you go to retrieve it, it's like going to uh, this spot in the, in the office and picking out this piece of paper and going, ah, there it is. Let me keep it right there because I remember where it was. And so you kind of remember where it was a little bit better. And then a few days later, a week later, right, you check it again and you say, okay, where was it? Where was it? Where, what is the capital of Mongolia? What is it? Ah, Ulan Batar. There it is. There it is. There's that piece of information. It's right there. I remember where that is. And in the midst of the whole mess, you kind of keep organized where some things are. Well, how do we make our brain know that a piece of information is important? Well, we could just say it over and 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 over again. But that's pretty tiring. And it actually doesn't help our brain as much as another technique. Here's why. Because if, if that memory is still being recalled, well, then your brain doesn't, it doesn't really have to work hard to search for it. And so it's not, it doesn't strengthen the remembering uh, level of that memory. So instead, what's really key is to forget something and then struggle to find the connections that will uh, that remember that. And when you find those connections, when you've after you've forgotten it, and you pull it back up to the surface and say, this is something I need to remember, your brain says, hey, I'd better hold on to that for a little while. That's not something I can discard. And so then we go a little bit longer, you wait a little bit longer and you forget it, 
and then you work really hard and you bring it back and that third time you're like oh your brain's like i'd really better remember that so now you can go even longer okay and so when when you want to remember something study something just long enough that you uh have learned it okay so you can kind of recite through the vocabulary words or the capitals of asia um, and then stop but make sure you've started long enough before the quiz or test that you have time to forget it maybe a day maybe two and then sit down and quiz yourself by quizzing yourself before you restudy it you're trying to pull up those old memories from a day ago and as you try and pull up those old memories you are going to empower your brain to remember those things even if you have to you get it wrong and you have to double check it um, the correct answer will be be a little bit stronger in uh, memorized or the recall ability will be a little bit stronger uh, for that memory then if you've started early enough take some time to forget it don't even look back at it for four days five days maybe a week after your first study session and then uh, once again quiz yourself quizzing yourself is so important because it helps you to pull up those old memories and that hard work of pulling up those old memories is what makes them easy to recall in the future if you just reread it you aren't working your brain and it doesn't tell your brain nearly as confidently that it needs to um, that it needs to remember those things and so then you forget them so your brain actually works really well at remembering what's important and it can tell what's important because you're trying hard to remember it so put yourself in situations little self tests self quizzes flashcards where you don't look at the other side right away but you really try and do the hard lifting and pull it up uh, you may have heard if you're gonna go play a football game you want to get in the gym and, and lift heavy weights if you lift little light things and you go on the football field you're gonna get crushed well same thing on a test where you have to memorize something if you have to memorize it and you do the light lifting of just reading it a bunch of times you're gonna get crushed when that test comes but if you've taken time to do the hard work of trying to recall that memory that uh, helps with the retrieval strength of that memory and then when you get to that that uh, that test you'll crush the test yeah anyways crush the test good times thank you uh, hope you've learned a little bit about how you learn and how you can implement that in your studying have a great day